First thing we're going to do is find the image we want to play with. So we go to the file in our folder, click on the image that we want, double click it to be precise, and having opened it, we're now going to explore the sizing of it. If you go to image, the top bar, look for image size, and you'll notice that the image size is displayed in different ways. Here we have it displayed in pixels, how many pixels there are within the image. And the way I tend to use it is in the sizing according to its physical size when printed. So here we have it shown in different um, measurements. So you can see it in centimeters, millimeters or inches. I'm a bit old school, so I think in inches, I visualize in inches, but uh, you may well visualize in centimeters. Also check that the resample image is checked and the scaling and the constrained portions are both checked. Then in the width setting, change the width and click OK and you'll notice the image on the screen has enlarged. So your image is now much larger than it was. The file size will be larger. And now we're going to save it. I'm going to call it, I'm going to save it as another file using the same number of the original, but I'm simply going to add um, a suffix. So I'm going to put, in this case, large. So it'll remind me that there's a large copy of the one that I've already made. And then we click save, and that's it. Ah, oh, one thing, you've got an option here as to how you save the JPEG. Now here, you want to make sure it's set to baseline. And also, assuming you want it to be the highest resolution, leave it at maximum at 12. And then click OK. And it's pretty well as simple as that. And once you've done it a few times, you'll find it very straightforward. Thanks for watching and uh, all the best.